Hello guys, this is the last topic about dislocations. Be uh, very quiet and try have some fun. Um, when we talk about uh, dislocation of leg, we need uh, down uh, then hip. We need to start talk about dislocation of the lower leg. Uh, there. Uh, we can talk about dislocations of the lower leg. Uh, they are rare. As a rule, uh, they are accompanied by a rupture of three or four ligaments of the knee joint. Sometimes they are open. Uh, there you see a small picture with uh, very much information. <laughs> uh, we try uh, take the, um, authors try to take all information what they know about trauma uh, and about dislocation of the lower leg and uh, take it on one picture. When we talk about clinical picture, um, manifestation of dislocation of the lower leg do not pose difficult for diagnosis due to the presence of all the classic signs of separation of particle surfaces. To confirm, to confirm the diagnosis and exclude fractures of the condylus of the tight and lower leg, an X-ray examination is necessary. Be sure to check the pulsation, the arteries of the foot and the innervation of the limb below the knee joints, so as not to miss damage to the popliteal artery and the Tibulant, fibular nerves. And guys, I want to please you. Uh, if you don't remember how uh, we need to palpate foot, uh, try do it now on your foot. It is very necessary and it will help you in very much cases. <coughs> Treatment. Anti local. Or general anesthesia, of course, uh, we uh, reduce a dislocation. Uh, hematrosis, yeah, you need to remember that uh, sometimes we have hematrosis of patient, uh, we removed and uh, with puncture, of course, uh, and irrigation. And then we immobilized the um, limb with circular bandage. Uh, from the inguinal fold to the ends of the fingers for 8 or 10 weeks. Um, there you see a picture about patellar dislocation and we will talk about restorative treatment. After the immobilization is eliminated, restorative treatment is prescribed but the load on the limb is not allowed for another for weeks walking on crutches you can start walking in three half months dislocation of the foot uh, for example dislocation in the um, ankle joint are usually combined with fractures of the ankles or the anterior and posterior edges of the tibia. Isolate dislocations of the segments of the foot or it, its individual bones are relatively rare. When diagnosing such a pathology, a patient should be urgently referred for inpatient treatment. Uh, dislocations of the talus bone. The mechanism of injury is indirect, excessive adduction, supination and plantar flexion of the foot. Clinical picture and diagnosis. The, uh, the pain at the injury site is bothering the ankle joint is deformed. The foot is defected inwards on the arterial surface of the foot 
a dense protrusion is felt. The skin above it is whitish in color due to ischemia. The dislocation of the talus bone is determined on the X-ray. Treatment Dislocation is eliminated under anesthesia and immediately after diagnosis due to the danger of skin necrosis in the area of the talus bone. The limb is fixed with a circular plaster cast from the middle third of the tide to the ends of the fingers when bending in the knee joint at an angle of 30 degree in the ankle joint 90 degree. The bandage is dissected, dissect, dissected alone, the length to prevent compression. After three weeks, the bandage is changed to a plaster boot for a period of six weeks. After the immobilization is eliminated, rehabilitation treatment is carried out. In order to avoid aseptic necrosis of the talus bone, the load on the limb is lowered no earlier than three months after the injury. Dislocation occurs at the level of the talus heel and talus navicular joints from excessive indirect physical impact, often as a result of excessive flexion and internal rotation, its dislocation occurs posteriorly with supination and internal rotation. Clinical picture and diagnosis The pain buzzers and deformation of the foot depends on the type of displacement. With posterior dislocation, the anterior part of the foot is shortened, the foot is shift, shifted inwards and posteriorly supinated and bent as much as possible. The talus bone will stand on the outer surface uh, and the final diagnosis is established after an X-ray examination. Treatment General anesthesia is used, uh, of course, uh, the removal of dislocation is started immediately after the diagnosis. Procrastination can lead to the formation of pressure stores in place of pressure by protruding bones and at the expenses of increasing edema. When setting a click is heard and movements occur in the ankle joint, apply a posterior through shaped deep splint from the ends of the fingers to the middle third of the tide for three weeks. And and there you can see a picture how we do the reduction. Of all dislocation in the joints of the lower limb, only dislocation of the tooth are subject to outpatient treatment. The most frequent among them is dislocation of the first finger in the metatarsal so meta phalangus joint in the back side. First finger is deformed. The main phalanx is located above the metatarsal at an angle open to the rear. There is no movement in the joint, a positive symptom of spring resistance is noted. X-ray examination reveals dislocation to the first low toy. What about treatment? Uh, the method of reduction is exactly the same as when removing dislocation of the first finger of the hand uh, and you see it uh, before in pictures. After manipulation, the limb is mobilized with a narrow back plaster splint from the lower third of the shin to the end of the finger on 10-14 uh, days. Prescribed sequent restorative treatment 
and physical activity is lowered after three four weeks that's all guys thank you very much for your attention and be healthy